Today is a special day for our community. Mount Druitt's got one of the biggest urban Aboriginal communities in Australia and our Aboriginal community is stepping forward through Babayan to support healing. Say no to I stay in Mount Druitt, it's about healing our community. It's about weaving that kinship and connection, supporting our young people and trying to heal and support our community members that are affected by the drug ice. And we just want to want to be able to be there with a helping hand and and to have a great day where people can come together, share stories and know that they're not going to be struggling on their own, uh, you know, and going through hardship. Councillor, why are days like today important? Well, these are, this is a community focused day and this is a really good way of bringing an issue to the attention of people. We're throwing the pool open so that people can come along, have a fun day, in an environment where they can relax, where they can have some fun and they can call in on all the stalls and the stall holders and the various services. What does a day like Say No to Ice Day mean to you? This is what we'll try and tell the younger people today, that today is a very important day. It's about, about your choices. To make a difference in your life, That follow the path of our ancestors. So using our culture and our strength of our song, yes. our dance, yes. our traditions yes. for our healing. Yes. That, that's all important. Music, song and dance in our culture is very important and that matters the most in our lives. What is culture and, and language and all that and your dance, how does that play in your healing and your and your your warrior walk for well-being. Yeah, it plays a big part in our spiritual healing, I guess. It um, helps us walk for our lives with uh, confidence and just all that stuff, the good stuff that comes into our lives. It gets rid of all the darkness in our recovery, yeah? Just all coming together, telling our stories, healing our soul and our spirit. It's made a lot to me, you know? It's helped me with my recovery so much. Where we're at at the moment, at the Glen, it's um, an extremely spiritual place. It's been open for 20-something years and it's all about healing there, so I love it. Yeah. That's the power of our culture, eh? Yeah. Healing our people. Our community says no to ice. All of us come from communities that are affected by drugs like ice, alcohol, smoking, you know, yandi and stuff like that. These things like hurt us as people and hurt our families. Coming here today means a lot to me because I'm a recovering addict myself and yeah, just needing that support helps me a lot um, coming back to community. No ties. <laughs> Creator and mother never gives up on us. So we don't give up on them and we don't give up on each other. That's what community is, and that's why we're all here today. So